Hazel and Daisy are mostly based on the friends I made when I was at school. I went to boarding school and I had a lot of friends who came from Hong Kong like Hazel and a lot who came from the English countryside like Daisy. But I think that Hazel is also very much based on the person I was when I was 13. Very shy, very awkward and very bookish. I think mysteries are so wonderful not just because they're exciting and frightening and interesting, but because they do feel quite safe. In the world of a mystery, one thing has gone wrong and that thing can and will be fixed by the detective by the end of the book. So when you pick up a murder mystery, you know that everything's going to be all right in the end. The real world is usually quite chaotic and I think that murder mysteries, even though they seem quite frightening, are a wonderful antidote to that. I think there are lots of different qualities that different sleuths can have, but I do think you have to be observant, you have to be intelligent, and you have to be quite good at putting yourself into other people's shoes. Now, Hazel and Daisy have slightly different parts of those characteristics. Hazel is the one that always feels for the victims and the murderers, whereas Daisy's the one whose brain is ticking always, trying to work out the clues. So together, they kind of make the perfect detective. I'm actually very lucky because I think there's very little you can't do in a children's book if you do it carefully and if you do it well. But I do try to make sure that my books aren't about the gory side of murder. I always introduce a body, but usually the body gets taken away again and then it can become all about the puzzle, which is actually the thing that I'm most interested in myself. Uh, so in writing for children, I'm kind of still writing the book that I would really like to read. I'm very influenced by the golden age detective fiction writers, Agatha Christie, Dorothy Sayers, Niall Marsh, Josephine Tay. Those are the books that I read when I was 13, 14, and those are the books that I'm thinking of when I write my own books. But I also love crime fiction today. Some of my favorite new writers are Ruth Ware and Fred Varga, as well as Catherine Woodfine for younger readers. There is so much great stuff out there, and. I know that I'm very influenced by a lot of different authors. If I wasn't a writer, I think I would probably be an editor. That's the job that I had before I left to become a full-time author, and it's pretty much the best job I can imagine. I love stories, I love shaping narratives, and I think I would do that whether or not I was the author or the editor of a book. There are so many more plots that I have in my head for Hazel and Daisy. The next one that is coming is book seven, which will be published this autumn, and it will be my very first theater mystery. I'm really excited about that one, but after that, there's even more. I have loads of plans in my head, and I'm excited to get those down on paper.